Heritage Month. Governor Gavin Newsom issuing a proclamation making it official all across California. Here on Fox 40 News at 11 all next week we'll be marking the occasion by bringing you meaningful conversations detailing some of the progress and some of the problems facing Asian Americans, Native Hawaiians and Pacific Islanders in our area. And we are getting a jump on things today as tomorrow, May 14th, is the 47th anniversary of the fall of Long Chang. That was a military base in Laos operating by the United States during the Laotian Civil War, where Hmong allies fought alongside the U.S. against the North Vietnamese. This would become known as the Secret War, raging from 1961 to 1975. About 30 to 40,000 Hmong soldiers were killed during the Secret War, including many under the age of 18. In a first-of-its-kind move, the Elk Grove Unified School District has adopted a resolution to designate every 14th of May Hmong American Day, recognizing and celebrating the Hmong's contributions and sacrifices during the Vietnam War. Here to tell us more about this high profile acknowledgement in the largest school district in Northern California is Elk Grove School Board Trustee Vice President Sean Yang. Welcome to Fox 40 News at 11. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank so you for having me. Definitely glad to have you here. What does holding this day up as something special mean for Hmong students? And what do you want that to say to students of all backgrounds district wide? Yeah, thank you for the question. May 14 is the last day of the American airlift evacuate the Hmong people from Laos to Thailand. It's a tremendous significant day for a new country for Hmong American and for me as a Hmong man, an elected Hmong man, I should say elected official happened to be a Hmong descent is very, very important for the Hmong community and all community, especially the kids to learn and remember what the Hmong has sacrificed and contribute to this country. There are more than 30,000 Hmong in the Sacramento area, but many may just be hearing that word for the first time today. What do you feel is maybe misunderstood or overlooked about Hmong people? Well, I just think that there's a lot of lack of information being shared about uh, Hmong American. And if you don't know about the people's background who they are, why they are here, there's always jumping to conclusion. And I think that might be the case for the folks that did not know, but I hope that today going forward, especially May 14, once we celebrate the first ever Hmong American Day in California, especially in El Grove Unified School District, people will see and understand who we are and why we are here and we are here to stay to be a part of the American community that helps make this country greater country going forward. Putting this very public focus on Hmong heritage, some may say if you're here in this country, immigrated here, celebrating your Americanness is the most important thing. What would you say to them? Well, I think that is critical for us to adapt to the American cultural because it is our country now, but we should never forget our heritage, our traditional, our cultural. And America is made of many, many, many different backgrounds and many different heritage. And we should embrace our differences and make our differences to be our strength as a community of America as one. Now, tomorrow, Elk Grove is throwing a Hmong Day celebration for the whole community. What can I expect if I turn out tomorrow? And why do you think it's critical to widen this sharing of culture beyond the doors of the school district? Absolutely. Yeah, it's going to be held in Elk Grove Park right behind Elk Grove uh, High School. Uh, we have a couple of spots where we're able to hold about 460 people. Uh, it is a first celebration for Hmong American Day, and it is significant uh, for others to show up and celebrate this special day with all of us to remember the Hmong 
people of their sacrifice and contribution to make this country great. All righty. Well, thank you so much for coming in to share with us this morning and tell everybody about these historic happenings in Elk Grove this year. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for having me.